Are cows the cure for HIV? U.S. government-funded HIV research in cattle may hold promise for future HIV treatments. In a study, scientists injected four calves' flanks with HIV. The cattle's own immune system first produced antibodies that nullified 20% of the virus in 42 days and counteracted 96% of the HIV virus within 381 days. Researchers theorize the cattle were able to do this due to their robust digestive system that encounters a variety of bacteria. The research may point to cattle being a source of medicine in the future. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Scientists are constantly coming up with new research and studies to battle disease. Life-saving stroke treatment involves three-foot-long wire. New medical technology implemented by British health authorities could save thousands of stroke victims from disability and death. A stroke generally occurs when blood flow to a part of the brain is blocked by a clot in the vein. During a mechanical thrombectomy, a three-foot-long wire is inserted into the patient's groin and maneuvered to the clot's location. Once there, the wire deploys a stent that traps the clot and relieves the blockage. The treatment was only initially available in a handful of hospitals, but is now being rolled out across England. Metastatic cancer could be stopped. A research team led by the Georgia Institute of Technology has developed a new treatment that can potentially stop cancer cells from migrating inside the human body. Cells contain cytoskeletons to give them their shape and to carry out functions such as division and movement. In order to move, the cytoskeletons produce protrusions called phyllopodia, which extends from fibers inside the cell known as lamellopodia. The protrusions help cells to shift locations Lamellopodia and phyllopodia are overproduced in malignant cancer cells, enabling them to spread around the body at faster speeds. Cancer kills patients often through the spread of malignant cells, which is known as the metastasis process. By attaching nanorods comprised of a small collection of gold atoms to the integrin of the cells, the cytoskeleton can be stopped from overproducing lamellopodia and phyllopodia, which slows down the migration of malignant cells. A low-energy laser of near-infrared light is then used on the cells. The light is absorbed by the gold nanorods, which then partially melts cancer cells and damages lamellopodia and phyllopodia. This can bring the migration of the cancer cells to a stop. If desired, the laser light can also be adjusted to kill the cancer cells. The experimental treatment shows no observable damage to healthy cells, which is an advantage over commonly used chemotherapy. In the experiments, scientists also did not see the treated cancer recur. Tick saliva could cure heart disease. Tick bites are annoying and sometimes dangerous as they may lead to serious illness. However, a new study shows that proteins found in tick saliva could also be used to treat a particular heart disease. Myocarditis is a disease that causes inflammation and damage of the heart muscle and typically affects young adults. When the heart becomes infected with a common virus, it releases chemicals called chemokines, which attract cells that cause inflammation. The heart muscle becomes dangerously inflamed and patients with severe cases would need heart transplants. Tick saliva can contain up to 3,000 proteins, known as evasins, depending on their species. Evasins allow them to feed on blood without causing inflammation, thus making their bites almost unnoticeable. One evasin found in the cayenne tick can bind to and neutralize chemokines to prevent inflammation. This could also potentially prevent myocarditis disease. Although the development of adding the tick protein to actual drugs still has a long way to go, Scientists believe this method could be used to cure heart disease, stroke, pancreatitis, and even arthritis. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Gray hair and baldness may soon be a thing of the past. Scientists researching tumors may have accidentally found the cure for gray hair and baldness. Two proteins, KROX20 and stem cell factor, are responsible for hair loss and pigmentation in hair, respectively. Hair shafts turn white when stem cell factor is depleted from hair cells. Meanwhile, hair loss is observed when KROX20 is removed from hair cells. 
Researchers will continue to study whether the two proteins stop working as people get older, which also could help explain why people age in general.